In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the minor basilica and shrine of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary. In the midst of our Advent preparation for the birth of Jesus, we celebrate the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, principal patroness of the Philippines. We focus our eyes on Mary, the woman God has chosen to be the mother of the Savior. As Mary lived up to her Immaculate Conception, listening to the Word of God and keeping it, so we are challenged to continue living up to the privilege given to her for our sake. Brothers and sisters, today we also celebrate the 50 years anniversary of the Philippine Dominican province of the Philippines. And also the 800 years, days natalis, or the death of our Father Saint Dominic. With the celebration, we have right now the ordination of one Dominican priest and three deacons. Join us in thanking God for all the blessings as we come also together to thank God for all the blessings that we receive from Him, especially the gift of life. We are alive. Kaya nagkakatuwa na nakabalik tayo muli sa simbahan, nakapasok tayo, hindi lamang yung mga senior citizens. Ngayon, pwede na pumasok yung mga bata as long as vaccinated ang mga parents. So this is a great thanksgiving, especially to our Blessed Mother, whom, whom we celebrate her Immaculate Conception. At the same time, let us continue praying. Let us continue praying for one another. And let us include, especially those who are still in the hospital or in isolation facilities or sick at home. Let us now make ourselves worthy of this holy celebration. Once again, let us be reconciled with one another and with our God. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserve her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and never. Amen. Please be seated. By succumbing to the temptation of the serpent, which symbolizes evil, Adam and Eve bring their descendants out of God's grace. Still, the Lord does not abandon humankind. A new Eve will bring forth an offspring who will overcome evil. A reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I have forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly you shall crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put you enmity between you and the woman, between your offsprings and hers. He will strike you at your head, while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made His salvation known. In the sight of the nations, He has revealed His justice. He has remembered his kindness and his holiness, faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done marvelous deeds. Paul speaks of how God chose His holy ones in Christ before the foundation of the world. The apostle pictures for us how God prepared Mary for her role as mother of the Savior. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us 
in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before Him. In love He destined us for adoption to Himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of His will, for the praise of the glory of His grace that He granted us in the Beloved. In Him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the One who accomplishes all things according to the intention of His will, so that we might exist for the praise of His glory, we who first hope in Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Alam niyo ba kung saan nagsimula ang sisihan? Blaming. Alam niyo ba? Sa ating unang pagbasa, narinig natin sa book of Genesis. Nung tinawag ng Diyos si Adan, saan siya? Nagtago. Nagtago siya. Bakit? Kasi sabi niya, nahihiya siya. Because he is naked. 
Walang damit kaya nahihiya siya. Kaya nagtago siya. Sabi ng Diyos, hmm, something wrong. May nangyari. May ginawa kayo na hindi dapat gawin. Merong hindi kayo sinunod. At ito, nagsimula na ang sisihan. Sinisi ni Adan sa si Eva. At sinabi, kasi itong babae ito eh. Sa iyo nabigay na mansanas na pinagbawal kainin. Nang tinanong naman yung babae, bakit mo ginawa yan? Ayan. Ayaw aminin. Ang sinisi naman ng babae, yung demonyo. Yung ahas. Ito kasing ahas dito eh. Sa inyong sabi. Na masarap. At it will open our eyes. We will become gods. Ayan. Nakita nila. Pagkatapos nilang baliwalain ang utos ng Diyos, nakita nila that they were naked. Wala silang damit. Yun ang nakita nila. Kaya, dahil wala silang damit, nakakahiya. Ba? Silang dalawa lang. May, may, na, may na-feel pa silang hiya. But then, hindi lamang yun eh. Nahihiya sila. Hindi dahil naked sila. Nahihiya sila kasi yung kasalanan nila na hindi pagsunod sa Diyos was open and their eyes were open that they have something wrong that they have done that they have not obeyed the commandments of God ganun pala no pag alam natin na may kasalanan tayo nakakahiya at dahil sa hiya, anong gagawin natin? We will try to justify ourselves. So, sinong babanta natin? Yung mga kasamahan natin. Kasi itong babae, kasi itong demonyo, sa yung nag-sabi uh, uh, na wala namang masama dyan. Okay lang yan. Your eyes will be open. Dapat nating tandaan that in spite of their disobedience to God, God never blamed them. Hindi sila sinisi ng Diyos, di ba? Klaro, hindi sila sinisi ng Diyos. Ang ginawa lamang ng Diyos, okay, dahil hindi kayo sumunod sa utos ko, tanggalan ko kayo. Tanggalan ko kayo ng mga privilege. Anong privilege na ito? Yung preternatural virtues. Yung hindi sila magkasakit. Wala silang mag-feel na hiya. They will not look for uh, crave of the flesh, passion. Hindi sila maghihirap. Kasi, nandiyan na lahat. But then, dahil sa hindi nila pagsunod sa Diyos, this was taken. This was taken by God from them. Kaya, ano sabi ng Diyos? You will work. You will work. Paghirapan mo dapat ang kakainin mo. Pagpawisan mo ang kakainin mo. So, dapat paghirapan mo upang mabuhay ka. But in spite of these weaknesses that our first parent did to God, God expressed continuously His love. Maha- minahal pa rin sila ng Diyos. At paano natin sabihin na mahal pa rin sila ng Diyos kahit tinanggalan na sila ng uh, pagkakataon ng mga privilege nila. When God promised them, 
God promised them a redeemer. When God promised them that a woman, dahil galing sa babae, nagsimula sa babae, ang kasalanan, dapat kailangan din babae ang simula ng kanilang redemption. And that is our gospel this morning. When the angel appeared to Mary and greeted her, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But Mary was afraid again. Baka, ano mangyari na naman? Napatakot din siya. The Lord is with you. Full of grace. Alam niya na tao siya. Alam niya na siguro may pagkukulang din siya sa kanyang mga obligasyon. Alam niya na higit sa lahat wala siyang kilala na lalaki upang maging ina siya ng Diyos. Kaya lang, ano ang redeeming factor ni Mary dito? Ang kanyang takot hindi dahil sa mga bagay-bagay na hindi niya nagawa sa mga bagay-bagay na pagkukulang niya. Hindi. The angel assured her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. I think this is the ultimate solution. Na dapat hindi matatakot si Maria because he found favor with God. Yung grasya ng Diyos ang siyang gagawa sa lahat-lahat na kailangan upang makuntain, upang ma-fulfill yung promise kay Adam and Eve that at the Redeemer will come. That the Son of God will come in order to return. And that favor coming from God makes Mary the Immaculate Conception conceived without sin. And that is our celebration today. We celebrate the Immaculate Conception of Mary, the Mother of God, being favored because the Son of God is perfect. Kailangan mabubuo siya sa loob ng walang dumi na hindi karapat-dapat. Ngunit kailangan, kailangan prepared by God Himself. And that makes Mary the Immaculate Conception. That makes Mary the virgin mother because of God's favor. Mga kapatid, alam nyo, nung kabisita ko sa Lourdes, gusto kong kunan na mag-isa ang statwa ng Immaculate Conception sa Grotto. At may pangalan, I am the Immaculate Conception. Kaya lang, nagtataka ako dahil tuwing ikiklik ko yung camera ko, merong mga tao, mga pilgrims, na gusto rin makipagdasal, gusto rin siguro kukuha ng picture. Sabi ko, mahirap. Hindi ko naman pwedeng sabihin sa kanila, Sir, wag, ka, wag dyan muna. Kukuha ko ng picture. <laughs> Siguro, baka mapapahiya lang ako. Baka tanungin sa akin, bakit sa iyo ba ito? <laughs> so, I took picture with pilgrims. And at night, 
when I try to see what I have taken, it comes to my mind. Sa palagay ko, sa panahong ito, hindi lamang gusto na mahal na birhen na si Bernadette lang ang makabasa, ang makarinig, ang makaalam ng kanyang revelation. I am the Immaculate Conception. Gusto na mahal na birhen na tayong lahat na naniniwala sa Diyos at naghihintay ng ating redemption should first believe the dogma that Mary, the mother of Jesus, was conceived without a tint of sin, without any sins. And that would be the beginning of our redemption. Paniwalaan natin na siya ay ina ng Diyos. Na siya ang may dala ng anak ng Diyos upang ipresenta sa atin, ipakita sa atin na ito. Ito dapat ang paniniwalaan. Walang sisihan sa panahong ngayon, dapat alisin na natin yung sisihan. Or else, kapag ituloy natin yung sisihan na ito, walang mangyari sa buhay natin. sabi ng isa, kasi ito eh. Kasi ang gobyerno, kasi ang simbahan, kasi ang mga politiko, kasi mga negosyante, kasi yung mga korap, kasi yung mga kriminal, kasi yung mga magnanakaw, walang sisihan na. Tanggapin natin na lahat tayo ay nagkamali, lahat tayo ay may kasalanan. Ang kailangan lamang po natin ay balikan, ay balikan ang pagsunod obedience to what our blessed mother is telling those servants when they need wives do whatever he tells you whatever God is telling us so kung sinabi ng Diyos na mali kasalanan huwag mong gagawin yan huwag na nating gagawin may kapangyarihan ka man o nasa laylayan ka man, huwag natin gawin ang kasalanan dahil ang kasalanan ay kasalanan. Walang sisihan. Walang sisihan. Aminin natin na tayo ay may kasalanan. At kapag naamin natin na tayo ay may kasalanan, God is merciful to each and every one of us. Alam ng Diyos na tao tayo. Alam ng Diyos na tayo ay may dugot laman. Alam ng Diyos na tayo ay may kakulangan, may kahinaan. Kaya, ayun. You have chosen a sacred vessel in order to contain the Redeemer, His own Son, our Lord. So sana po, sa panahon ito, sa panahon ng pandemic, sa panahon ng eleksyon, walang sisihan. We all stand. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, <clears throat> maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, but substantial with the Father, through whom all things were made. For as man and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. 
For his sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear friends, we praise you, O God, our Almighty Father, who will that Mary, your son's mother, be celebrated by all generations. In our great need, we ask, Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. May Mary, the Immaculate Mother, intercede for the Christian people so that we may go forward in hope, relying on the help of Christ, we pray. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. May the Filipino nation never grow weary of invoking the Blessed Mother and always find refuge under her protection, we pray. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. May all who are facing trials, sufferings, and difficulties feel Mary's motherly love, we pray. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. May our Christian families and communities be center of joy and mutual support and be protectors of life from conception to old age, we pray. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. May all of us find in Mary a model of prayer, service, and obedience to God's will. May we listen to her as she points to Jesus and says, Do whatever he tells you, we pray. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. May the Lord welcome to the joy of paradise those who have gone ahead of us, we pray. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray. Lord, the glory hear our prayer. In the silence of our heart, let us include the intentions of this Mass, our very own personal intentions and prayers, and let us always remember those who need our prayer, especially the sick and those who are taking good care of them. We ask God to strengthen the family whose loved one died. Father, as we rejoice in the privilege of Mary, His Immaculate Conception, may we ourselves come to you, cleansed of all sin, we ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that we profess her on account of your prevenient grace to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we might be delivered from all our faults to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you preserve the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin so that in her endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away your offenses. You placed her above all others, to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis assistant, Gerardo, Master of the Order, the religious and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with the Father Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, to live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local election may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord from coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That a common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us. 
a call to serve others and to grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our, our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which, in a singular way, you preserve Blessed Mary in her Immaculate Conception to Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you very much for your presence, especially for your active participation and cooperation during this Mass. And uh, let us continue praying for one another, especially that we are out and most, almost everybody is out. Let us continue praying for the safety of one another. Please include in your prayers the safety of our frontliners here in the Bayou Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Our sacristan, our altar servers, our commentator and lectors, our Eucharistic minister, our assers, security guard, our choir, and our radio staff. Let us pray for one another for our safety. So please keep safe. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for a blessing. May God go through the Childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, with help in His great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with His blessing. Amen. May you know always and ever word the protection of her to whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. May you have devout gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is sended. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Please remember the names of your loved ones who are sick. We will also bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, give us strength and support in our frailty. To our kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the own and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawad, may all the rosaries, images, candles, soil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes. Okay. 
Help his servant Israel and recall his promise. 